You've been such a pioneer and trailblazer in this industry, and you've always brought such an empathetic quality to your characters and your work. It's so compelling to watch on screen. This project is no different. Kira, your character in the film, finds herself in this life or death situation, but she chooses to find strength within herself and the humanity and others, which is such a beautiful takeaway from this project. And you brought so much nuance to that journey. As an actress, how did you create the space for yourself to tackle that vulnerability that we find your character in while also highlighting the human spirit and that resiliency mm. well thank you first of all for your very kind words and um you know i think when i when i when this project came to me i knew i was already going to be outside of my comfort zone and that was kind of the point mm. you know i've i've I, at the time i'd never done anything like this before and dr Kira foster is so very much unlike me right, uh, that it was going to require different things of myself. And that meant I was going to have to humble myself and mm. be free to fail and, and be okay with that. And I, I was able to do that because I had a great partner in, in my director, Gabriela Cowperthwaite. She created a very safe space for me to do the research, to ask questions, to try things and to let them be very, very wrong. <laughs> you know, she has a background in in as a uh, in documentaries, and because of that, she knows when something just does not look honest. Mm -hmm. Like that's she's got this laser laser system. Like it, I felt she's just like there's an alarm bell going off that wasn't honest. We're gonna do it again, um, which I think is is really cool and helped keep us honest to the story of these these characters and the humanity of them because they're a group of scientists that find themselves in extraordinary circumstances where you you have to consider you know your loyalty to your country your loyalty to your your science um and the loyalty to the people that you are sharing space with literal space yeah. with and what where the boundary lines of all of that in extraordinary circumstances it's so raw and grounded and this is such a oh. physical role where you're embodying a character who's often tethered and in this zero gravity environment how did that physicality allow you to connect with her further and bring that authenticity to the screen how helpful was it having your background in dance and movement it was very helpful having a dance background you know i think when you're working in a structure like our version of the ISS, which actually is rooted in reality, um, thanks to our production designer. I, I think being physically aware and spatially aware was very helpful. Um, you know, it, it, the reality is the ISS is very messy and it's, it's a little bit dirty, a lot of dust. Um, so, you know, being able to sort of like react to wherever I found myself in space was very, very helpful. You, t you mentioned about, you know, Dr. Foster's like inner strength that she that she finds and ends up having to rely on. I think when for me, Ariana, when I was, you know, in this harness, using every muscle in my body to ultimately achieve the the illusion of weightlessness, there was a part of me that did have to just surrender uh, part of my brain power. Right. And then it allowed Dr. Foster to just speak, mm -hmm. which sounds very heady, but it, it made me very honest in a way. And I think that that may be my strength, the ability to do more, more than one thing at a time that also invokes freedom, you know, so that you can intuitively react to what's in front of you, to what's being said to you. You can feel whether it's honest or not or trustworthy. Can I rely on this or do I need to, to make a different choice, um, which ultimately is something I took away from Dr. Foster and into my real life. I live mm. and die by my gut. I trust my instincts, you know, um, in every situation. That is a real answer to your question, my friend. And that's why you are incredible in all the projects that you, that you do and such a trailblazer for our community. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chat with us. Congratulations on this film. It's absolutely fantastic. And I hope Thank we get the opportunity so. to chat again in the future. Oh, we will.